Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain the case number 3 when the object is placed at center of curvature or twice the focal length or another name is when the object is placed at C. This is one of the important case for exam point of view because many times in board exam there are repeated questions based on this case 3. Why it is important after the discussion of the total ray diagram you will understand not only discussing the ray diagram not only in this video i am going to discuss the image formation by concave mirror when the object is placed at c even i am going to discuss one or two questions which were repeated in board examination so first we'll take a concave mirror and we'll take a center of curvature C and F focus and P pole and the line joining center of curvature and pole is called principal axis. Now I need to place the object at C. Now here is the object and the object is placed exactly at center of curvature. Right? I need to draw a ray diagram for that we need minimum two light rays and the first one the parallel to principal axis so if any light ray is parallel to principal axis as per rule one the reflected ray passes through the focus so to draw the reflected ray i am joining focus and the point of incidence so here is the point of incidence and this is the focus right so this is a first incident ray and the first a reflected ray but we need one more light ray now the rule number two if the light ray passes through the focus it will be parallel to principal axis now i am joining the top of the object and focus and i am drawing the incident ray and if any light ray passes through the focus the reflected ray will be parallel to principal axis now I am drawing the reflector ray which is parallel to principal axis. Right. Now here this is a second incident ray and we have a second reflector ray. Right. Now I need to identify the position of the image. Now we already discussed that if I want to identify the position of the image the rule is where the two reflector rays intersect there the image will form. Now in this diagram the two reflector rays are intersecting at this position here the two uh, reflector rays are intersecting at this point so the image will form at the point of intersection of two reflected rays so i'll draw the image right so i got image also after getting the ray diagram we need to write the characteristics of image the first one is position of the image now if i look at the position of the image and if i observe thoroughly the object and the image are at same position right now where is the object the object is at c and the image also we got at c only in this case we got object position and image position both are same object distance and image distance both are same so the position of the image is at C or double the focal length. Next, what about the size of the image? Observe even size of the image and size of the object. Now if you look at object size and image size both are same. Means when the object is placed at center of curvature the image size is same as the object size. In this case we will get a magnification. 1 and it is minus 1. Why minus? Because for real images magnification is always negative. 1 because object size and image size both are same. Now the size of the image is same as the object. Next nature of the image and if I observe the ray diagram the two reflected rays are converging and they are producing image. If the reflected rays converges and produces an image we call it as a real image because real image will be produced by converging rays. 
now here also the two reflector rays are converging and they are producing an image so the nature of the image is real and inverted The nature of the image is real and inverted. Now, based on this case, what are the different type of questions you may expect in board examination? We'll discuss that. The same question we got in CBC board exam 2024, but only difference is in actual board exam, it is about lens, but we are discussing about a mirror. But the concept is same, only the difference is here I am taking it as a mirror but in board exam it came as lens right now just go through the question analyze the following observation table showing variation of image distance v with object distance in case of a spherical mirror now he did not mention which type of mirror it is answer the questions that follow without doing any calculation without doing any calculation I need to answer the questions now if I observe the object distance we know that object distance is always negative because object is placed left side if it is placed left side to the pole we will consider it as negative right now even look at the image distance image distance also we got in five cases negative now image distance is negative means which side the image will be left side so if the image is left side and it is by mirror it is a real image that means by looking at the sign for image distance i understood it is a real image because because the spherical mirror means concave mirror will produce a real image and if i look at the position of the real image it is left side of the pole if it is left side of the pole will take distances as negative will take distance as negative now with that negative sign of the image distance I identified it's a real image and we can get a real image only with concave mirror now I confirm the mirror is concave mirror next the first question what is the focal length of the mirror give reason to justify your answer now without doing calculation I need to calculate the focal length now how can I do that now just observe the third observation if I observe third observation, take concave mirror, focus and center of curvature. Now if you look at object distance is, if you look at the table, object distance is negative and image distance also negative, both are same. Now for which case the object distance and image distance are same only when the object is placed at C. In third case, when the object is placed at C, the image also forms at C. So that means here C is nothing but 40 centimeters. So the distance between C to P is nothing but a radius of curvature which is equals to here 40 centimeters. If I know the radius of curvature, then focal length is equals to R by 2 which implies F is equals to 40 by 2 which is equals to 20 but here we need to apply sign conventions it is minus 20 centimeters so the focal length of the mirror is minus 20 centimeters see to calculate the focal length I have not used mirror formula just by using the f is equals to r by 2 I have did this answer next so I got the focal length and I need to give reason to justify my answer the reason is for concave mirror image and object distance both are same only when the object is placed at C so if 40 centimeters is at C half of the 40 centimeters is equals to focal length of the concave mirror based on the case 3 we have such questions in board another model questions like uh, which mirror produces a real and inverted image of same size the answer is concave mirror and case 3 which mirror produces an image of magnification m is equals to minus 1 what this minus indicates a real image and what 1 indicates size of the object size of the image both are same only we will get 
image size same as object when the object is placed at C. Hope you understood. So next video we'll discuss case number four. Thank you. Please do watch my videos.